Houston Station on Space to Ground. Welcome to Space to Ground, your weekly look at what's happening on board the International Space Station. I'm Amiko Cowder. The Expedition 40 crew kicked off its work week by servicing one of the U.S. spacesuits on board. Commander Steve Swanson and flight engineer Reed Wiseman replaced a fan pump separator that removes moisture from the suit ventilation loop and provides oxygen to the crew member. Two U.S. spacewalks scheduled for August were postponed until after the upcoming SpaceX 4 mission launches next month, delivering new spacesuit batteries to the station. And speaking of cargo deliveries, the station crew installed a new science payload that arrived aboard Europe's automated transfer vehicle, the electromagnetic levitator. We will have molten spheres of metal alloys that we will float in there and research what happens to them uh, in all different sorts of states. Borrowing a technique blacksmiths have used for centuries, this research may help industry develop better materials for use in everyday products from smartphones to jet engines. Research in space is making sea travel safer for ships around the globe. The latest installment of NASA's Benefits for Humanity series takes us to the high seas of the frigid Atlantic to learn how technology developed aboard ISS is being used to track ships and save lives. Make sure to check it out at nasa.gov slash station benefits. This week's social media question asks, what kinds of cameras are used by the crew to take the amazing HD photos from orbit? Well, astronauts aboard the station are using several off-the-shelf digital SLR cameras similar to what many aspiring astronaut photographers here on the ground use, and a host of camera lenses ranging from an 8mm fisheye to an 800mm lens give the astronauts more reach and wider angles to capture those stunning images. Make sure to keep sending us your questions and comments using the hashtag space to ground We'll see you next week.